Here's our next stair building book. We have a series of books uh, dedicated to the design of one particular type of stairway. Stairs with landings, circular stairs, brackets, and of course this one here. The slots you can actually cut into a stringer so that you can slide the treads into them and eliminate the need for using brackets. So this is a great idea, especially for production framing. If you think about it, if you were going to purchase a bracket and the lag screws for each bracket, and you're looking at 4 or $5 each, and you're going to need two per step, and you're going to need, uh, you got 13 steps in a stairway that could be quite expensive. And it's actually the reason why we built them when I was a production uh, stair builder working on track homes. So great idea for production stair building. And if I was going to build a deck um, and wanted to have a heavy duty set of stairs, this is going to be the one to use. Now, the problem with brackets, and I already have a book on brackets. Brackets Using brackets has its advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantage for using brackets versus this one here is the cost of the bracket and the fact that some of the screws loosen up over time as you're walking up and down the stairs and the, and the treads start to move or the lumber is warped or twisted, then you could end up with a loose tread and of course that is a safety problem you're not going to have a loose tread with something like this or i should say it's going to be highly unlikely one of the biggest disadvantages for something like this would be that it needs to be assembled and put together and then raised into position and these stairs could be quite heavy so that could require some type of a lifting system or a couple of strong individuals to get it into place depending upon the length of the stairway. Now it is a strong set of stairs and if I was going to build a deck I would uh, definitely consider using something like this. Keep in mind that the risers, most building codes, don't allow open risers anymore so you, the risers will need to be um, sealed off and I do have other videos on that I believe if not I will make them in the future let me know if you need more information on that now let's see what's inside the book you will get book number one it is included in here and book number one basically takes up about this much of the book it provides you with how to figure out the riser height your tread run um, gives you some layout ideas, even though this I do have it down here for the pattern layout. This is going to provide you with the critical method, the most important method that is needed to build these stairs is going to be how to lay out the pattern here. The rest of it, uh, as you'll see in the book, will provide you with ways to use a smaller pattern, for example, to make longer stairs. So a lot of great information in here. Here's some stuff you will find in book number one. Just kind of whip through it. You will have a table of measurements. If you're having a problem figuring out your risers, you can simply use these tables. Great, uh, great idea. Uh, gives you some ideas for, like I said, for straight set of stairs. Now this is where the book starts. You will learn how to lay out the template, which is going to be the board that you will be using to router out the individual treads. And of course, after the template is done, you have finished it, you'll simply attach it to a stringer, router it out, then nail it together, lift it into place, and you are done. Now, I'm sure that it's, uh, I'm making it sound a little easier than it is, but I can tell you that I've searched the internet for information. I wouldn't have written these books if I could find information on building stairs that actually makes sense to do it yourselfers. And the information in this book that I have laid out should be a lot more helpful 
than uh, what you're going to find on the internet. So anyway, thanks for watching. Do not forget to visit the website. There is a lot more information there on stair building, different types of stairs, and problems that people have ran into. I've made a lot of videos about the process of assembly, building, design, and of course repairs.